Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the Dog Solid channel. Today we will be discussing the massive bro homer. Before we dive into the top pros and cons of owning a bro homer, let's play some Dog Solid trivia. Bro homers were a choice of what group of people? Was it A, the Danish farmer, B, the Danish hunters, C, the Danish military, or D, the Danish royalty? Take your best guess and comment it below in the comment section. Watch until the end of the video for an answer. You may be surprised, or maybe you won't. The Brohomer is recognized as the Danish Mastiff or Danish Brohomer. It is one of the most honored and prominent breeds in Denmark and Northern Europe. These dogs are customarily very protective, friendly, calm, gentle, and sometimes stubborn. The origin of this breed is not yet known, but it is believed that these dogs were born when an English Mastiff was crossbred with a local dog of Germany. These dogs were owned by the wealthy and aristocrats for the purpose of guarding their manors and castles in the ancient times. But promptly, due to the drastic fall of their popularity over time, this breed became nearly extinct. But a gamekeeper in the 18th century named Sehested Broholm was determined to preserve this breed. He made rigorous rules for breeding, which helped to categorize this Broholmer. Once again, after World War II, the Great Depression, and the Nazi occupation, this breed faced the strife that brought it to its annihilation. But a group of Danish enthusiasts again saved the, the Brohomer from getting banished from this planet in the 1970s. Now this breed can be observed in countries like the United States and the United Kingdom. Brohomers have a powerful and overshadowing bark like this one here, and their coat is typically short. Black colored Brohomers are very seldom, but they commonly are yellow or brownish in color with a black mass around their mouth and nose. Females are generally lighter and petite, and the male Brahomer, which is 29 and a half inches and weighs 110 to 150 pounds. The average lifespan is around nine to 13 years, which is not so terrible for being a large hound. Now let's continue to the top pros of owning the Brahomer. Pro number one, personality. At first sight, the Brahomers might seem very overbearing, but you may be surprised that this breed is very social and well-mannered especially if they were introduced and socialized with other dogs at a young age. Another surprising temperament of the Brohomer is that they are gentle with children of all ages. These dogs are also amazing for senior citizens and are normally recommended for the elderly that want larger dogs. Some people may argue that you should not own a Brohomer if you have smaller children because of their large size and heavy weight, as they may accidentally hurt the small child. But with proper adult supervision at all times, these accidents have a less chance of happening. The temperament of this breed also makes them a great dog for first time dog owners as these dogs are easily going and able to be resilient from the owner's mistakes or inconsistencies during training. Pro number two, amazing guard dog. The Bro Homer is recognized by the American Kennel Club as one of the top breeds when it comes to watch dogs. I know that I said this many times, but this dog is huge in statue and just the sight of them will keep the intruder at a distance. Remember that this dog was bred to be a protector of the home and a guard dog of the cattle. So naturally, the Brohomer will always be on high alert, warning you if they sense something different. Even though this breed is not violent or ultra aggressive by nature, they will however protect their territory and family as they feel obligated to keep a watchful eye over their home. One of the most notable traits of this breed is that even though they must protect their family from any harm, they will try their best to do it in a non-violent way. Pro number three, highly intelligent. The Bro Homer is highly intelligent, which makes it easy to train and housebreak. This massive dog has an emotional intelligence where they have the ability to make decisions on their own. So an example would be how the Bro Homer will assess a dangerous decision on what they should do to make sure that there is a non-violent outcome. It is thought that the Bro Homer can learn and memorize new commands in up to 15 to 25 repetitions which is pretty remarkable when comparing it to other working breeds. As a side note, just because a dog is considered intelligent, it won't necessarily make them a good dog. You have to understand the breed and put in the necessary time and consistently train them properly so that they will be able to use their natural intelligence in a way that is both beneficial to you and itself. Pro number four, grooming. This Mastiff does not require a lot of grooming due to their coat, which is short and thick. You will not have to bathe them that often. It's actually recommended to bathe them every three months because consistent bathing will dry out their skin. 
The size of the bra warmer might make bathing somewhat difficult, but if it is trained, then there will be no issues. Also to mention, just because this dog requirements for, for grooming is low maintenance, it still does shed, however. Consistent brushing is a must when it comes to this breed. The Bromers shedding depends on the season, which means that there will be times where you are brushing them more often than others. While we were talking about grooming, their nails must be trimmed regularly to avoid scratching. It is best practice to get the Bromer accustomed to their nails and paws touched at a young age. Pro number five, adaptability. One may think that this massive breed will need a lot of room, such as a large house with a huge backyard, to stretch its legs in order to live comfortably. Even though this living situation is recommended, the Brawlmer is adaptable to live in any space, which means even apartments. So if you do live in an apartment, then you do not have to worry about this breed, but you will have to make up for the lack of space by providing adequate exercise so that the Brawlmer will be able to get a chance to run around and let out any pent up energy. If you do not remind this large breed to get up and move around the apartment or take it out for a long walk, the Brawlmer will have no problem just laying in one area for hours, which will eventually make them lazy. A lazy Brawlmer is a problematic dog that will come with very hard habits to break. Well, this wraps up the top five pros of owning a Brawlmer. Now we are going to dive into the cons. Every breed has some type of undesirable trait. Check out these cons to see if this is the right breed for you. Con number one, stubborn. Even though the Brawlmer is calm, well-mannered, and never really looking for trouble, this breed does have a stubborn side to its personality. While most dogs, even with temperaments, are usually people pleasers, that however is definitely not the case with the Brawlmer. Sometimes its stubbornness might make them a little bit more tricky to train, but it can be done since as mentioned earlier, these dogs are highly intelligent. As the owner and the trainer, you must always maintain the upper hand in their relationship. Reminding the Brawlmer who is the leader beginning when they are puppies. Even through their adult lives, the Brawlmer must have training or he might try to actually become the leader. Due to their size, it is worth it to invest in consistent time in training these breeds. Once trained, they're amazing dogs, but they do have a strong will. Cost number two, costly. To say that this breed is expensive is an understatement. Remember that anything that pertains to the Brawlmer will be extra, extra large. The average price of these dogs can range from a minimum of $1,600 to $2,500. So if you are in the market, it's best that you have some money saved up somewhere. The reason why this breed is so expensive, besides its massive size, it is probably due to the fact that it is highly unlikely that you will find this breed at the local store, which means breeders are far in between. You will most likely have to spend money to travel to find a reputable breed if one is not in your area. Food is another cost that will definitely begin to add up as this breed begins to grow, which will happen rather rapidly. Also, we haven't even touched the potential vet bills, and in this situation, getting pet insurance will be your best bet. The ongoing cost with this breed can be a huge commitment, so make sure that you are willing and ready to shell out any additional money. Con number three, weight gain. As stated earlier, the Brawlmer can be rather lazy if you let them. With laziness comes weight gain problems. That is why it is essential that these dogs maintain some type of exercise to combat this bad habit. This dog can weigh up to 176 pounds naturally. And any more added weight could potentially cause joint and back problems, heart disease, breathing difficulties, and a shorter lifespan. Another way that the bra homer can gain unnecessary weight is by overeating. If you notice that your bra homer is gaining weight a little too quickly, it's best to reach out to the vet to get an idea of the exact food volume your pup should be eating. Con number four, drooling. If you are someone that is disgusted by dogs that drool and find it gross that you might have the potential slobber stains on your clothes, then the bra homer is not the dog for you. The bra homer naturally drools more than any other breed due to the fact that they have larger cheeks and lips where bigger pockets of saliva can gather. For some owners, drooling adds character to their dog. I myself am not a fan of drooling, so we can swiftly move on to the next con. Con number five, not good for people who suffer from allergies. As mentioned earlier in this video, the Brawlmer tends to shed excessively during certain seasons, which will make them a nightmare for those who suffer from allergies. Well, that wraps up the pros and cons video about the Brawlmer. And as promised, here's the answer to the dog's solid trivia from the beginning of this question. If you answer D, Danish royalty, then you are correct. Thank you for watching this video and check out my other playlist on other dog breeds. The link is below in the description. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Dog Solid channel, and I will see you in the next video.